The Chasers War on Everything series review. For two seasons in the mid 2000s, a group of young guys in Australia known as The Chaser uh, declared war on everything. Basically, the show is satire, candid camera, and just all around kind of comedy. There's a lot of pop culture references. They make fun of various celebrities, journalists, and just different, you know, famous people or corporations. The focus is very much on Australia, although there are also some international news and the like. It's a lot like Australia's version of The Daily Show. Like The Daily Show, it is... It does require you to know what they're talking about. At least that helps a lot in getting the punchlines. So, the show is mainly for Australians, obviously, and this kind of thing with a focus on, you know, it was a weekly show and it dealt with, you know, what has happened this week, especially in the news and the media. So, it's gonna be dated. That's just a given. There are a number of different styles of comedy, which, and the bits tend not to last very long. So, if you enjoy something in the show, there's, you know, a good chance that, you know, you won't be bored too much. There won't be too much of what you don't like. I would say they, yeah, it's such a wide spectrum of humor that there's a lot of chances of, you know, there being something that, you know, each individual viewer is not going to enjoy. Among the various bits are the ad road test, probably the most popular and easily recognizable, where the team break down an ad that is you know, current or was at the time, and, you know, find a claim in it, you know, something it claims that their product does, and they see if it actually lives up to that. And that's one of the things where they kind of do what a lot of us would like to be able to do or, you know, point something out that might, you know, that, let's say, a basic, a conscience, basically, would prevent a lot of people from saying, and they just, they hit the nail on the head. They also have a couple of characters who are basically parodies of the the ad where someone is shouting and repeating the price. They have musical numbers out in public and just, you know, and about things that you usually wouldn't write a musical number about. The the tone changes a bit. They tend to be very provocative and they do cross the line. In fact, they do so quite often. And I wouldn't advise anyone to be eating while watching the show because they get really disgusting at times. They don't have very many limits. And some of the humor does... It seems like they didn't really judge the material, you know, judge what, judge what they're mocking fairly. For example, they do a Star Trek parody and they they go into how bad the effects were. And I'm thinking it's a parody of the original series from the late 60s. That did have pretty bad effects, but that spending a lot of effort making fun of that is just kind of missing the point of the show. 
and they also talk about how, you know, there's a lot of, you know, how they can just write themselves out of the situations. Also not something that I think is really that bad with, and it's not that that doesn't happen a lot with sci-fi, it just, I wouldn't personally say it happened a lot in the original series. The different members of the group have different talents, and they tend to put them to really good use. Andrew has a great musical talent, both as far as writing lyrics and performing music, and he does some great parodies of mainly current, you know, artists. Chaz is just all around fun and goofy. Julian is really great at being very serious, very deadpan, and one of his bits is the citizen's infringement officer, which is basically making fun of, you know, how restrictive, you know, some laws are and how little you can actually get fined for. He's out there, you know, giving people fines over bad hair and t-shirts and the like. All in all, you know, before you put any money into it, you know, find some clips, find some, you know, watch some episodes that might be free online, legally, and, you know, see if you like it. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.